private credit. This is where most of the adoption has been to date for the tokenization. You got Maple Finance, you got Arch Lending, you got Centrifuge, you got Goldfinch. There's lots of people that have already been doing private credit on chain. So these are hard lending, people that are taking collateral in digital assets, sometimes Bitcoin, sometimes Ethereum, XRP, Solana, other digital assets, and they will lend with an LTV or loan to value ratio against that hard collateral on chain. And they will give you USDC or Tether or another stable coin as a representation of value as a line of credit or a loan against that asset. Right now, the total addressable market for private credit globally is $1.5 trillion. So how much of that has actually been tokenized? Up to date, it's just 12 billion. That's it. Across all of these providers that are currently providing this on mostly EVM-based networks, there's a little bit on Solana. It's a small, small percentage. It's like 0.8% of all of the hard money lending and, and, and private credit that's been tokenized. The total global trading volume for private credit is one to two billion dollars. So if that were to move on chain, this is what actually is going to move the price of tokens, okay? The trading of these debt obligations or the repayment of these loans. When value is moving over the networks, there's volume. And the volume is what's going to cause the need or demand for a token to be able to settle that, right? Based on what I've seen to date and where the adoption is for private credit, it's going to be EVM-based networks that end up winning out on this. 